take a look at this fennel sausage pizza here. And here we have our voodoo donuts. Fennel sausage pizza here, right out of the box. Delicious from that red oven pizza kitchen at Universal Studios City Walk. Excited to dig in here. Really does look fantastic. You can see that white cheese on there, the sausage, onions. Really looks delicious. Let's see how this one tastes. Hey everyone, Dave K here with Mike today, trying the Red Baron Pizza. We might put this together with some other food reviews or some other adventures. We'll see how that plays out, but excited to dig into it here today. Mike, how does it look to you? Looks super good. Big clumps of cheese on there, sausage, I'm excited. All right, without further ado, let's give it a shot. I like the bread quite a bit. I feel like the bread is very nice, kind of a pita style bread. Some fantastic kind of feeling to that. I feel like it's not quite as flavorful on the top as I envisioned. Yeah, I was expecting more of a kick to kind of the onion or the sausage or that cheese in there. Maybe, maybe just another bite and I'll taste some more, but it didn't seem that strong to me. I got a big bite of the cheese. The big bite of the cheese, that seemed to do quite a bit for me. I don't know, I, I'm thinking that's mozzarella, I'd imagine. Big clump of mozzarella, but that is really good. I like that pizza a lot. Let me try some more then. You're right in that I do sense a strong cheesy flavor on it. That cheese is probably the strongest flavor, I think, on the whole pizza. Again, I would have expected more of a kick from like the onion, the sausage, and kind of how that goes together. Kind of reminding me more of the Via Napoli pizza we had. Oh yes, I oh, think yes. the one at Disney. I think it was also a fennel sausage. And that had some great flavors that all blended together really well. But you're right, I love the cheese on this one, and the bread is nicely done too. Definitely one I wouldn't go out of my way for, but I can totally see myself getting red oven pizza again. Like 100%, just not like, oh, I have to like drive all this way to just for that pizza. Via Napoli, I would though. Right, oh yes. Yeah. Via Napoli is so, so good. This yeah. one I would say, this I'd consider it if yeah, I were oh, yeah. City Walk. If yep. there were other options, maybe if I hadn't tried it before or I wanted some more pizza, I was in the mood for pizza. I would consider it among other options. I'd probably more likely go to Cowfish, personally. Mm -hmm. uh, but it really depends, again, what you're in the mood for, what you've had at different places, what's open and available. In terms of options, I think it's good, but not amazingly good. Overall, I wanna give this one maybe a, I wanna say like a six, or maybe a 6.5 for me. Again, good, but not amazingly good. Mike, what do you think? I'm actually right on the same page, 6.5. I was leaning towards seven, but seven seems a little bit high. Somewhere between the two, maybe. Looking forward to trying more of Cowfish when that opens back up too, and so many other restaurants. If I were to pick my favorite dining right now, if I were looking for food at Universal, I'd probably stick with those two Harry Potter attractions, you know, over some of the City Walk stuff that I've had, but definitely want to continue to try more and see what's out there. And now let's try some more delicious food options. And here we have our Voodoo Donuts. Look at those, all kinds of great donuts in there. You may have heard me state some of these names already, but you have the Portland Cream right here. A bacon maple, you got the voodoo doll back there, that banana fritter. So many great ones, excited to dig into them here today and let you know what we think of these flavors. Getting started with our donuts here from Voodoo Donuts. Mike, which one do you want to try first? Uh, I kind of want to try the Captain Crunch one. Okay, this one right here? Yeah. Okay, sounds, sounds good. It's really good. Just at first glance, that banana fritter is huge, so it's yeah. good size on that one. It doesn't look like the bacon maple is stuffed, which I was expecting, but that's cool. We got Portland stuffed and Voodoo stuffed, and then I think these two are not stuffed, but topped quite nicely. Yes. Let's give it a shot. Bon appetit. Not bad. Not a bad donut. It's fluffy, light, and airy. I do like those toppings on it, very nice toppings. But I feel like the filled ones do add quite a bit, in my opinion. So I'd say this one is pretty good. I potentially could get it again if I want a topped one, but I love those stuffed ones. Mike, how about you? For me personally, it's it's not as high ranked. I feel like it's it's okay. I probably wouldn't get it again. I'd go for something else like the Voodoo Doll, which I'm, I love that one. I know I love it. So some yes, some no. That one for me probably wouldn't get it again, but not bad. Now more of a cake style donut. It's kind of what, a peanut butter Butterfinger? something? Butterfinger maybe? Yeah. Okay, yeah, Butterfinger. It's again, a cake donut on there, so it's a darker donut. Let's see how this one tastes. Mike, what did you think of this Butterfinger one? Much better, much better. Love the kind of consistency to it. It has a really good flavor to it. You can taste what they're going for with the Butterfinger. You really, really can. Over the two, that one, that one Butterfinger I would take 100%. Agreed. I, I, I don't think I'm as much of a Butterfinger fan. It's been a long time since I've had the candy. It, it's not bad, but the cake style of that donut, I definitely far more prefer that style. So I'm glad we got that one. Again, agreed, that one ranks higher for me of the two. And I'm looking forward to trying more cake style maybe in the future. Okay, Mike, which one's it gonna be? 
Uh, I want to go with ones that I personally, this is this is me, I think that probably won't be as good. I'm trying to go from like the bottom to the top. That's how I'm trying yeah. to do it without yeah. knowing what they taste like. So I'm going to go for that maple bacon. 100%. Yeah. It, again, it looks bready. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, it probably will be good, but not like amazing. Yep. Let's see. I'm right there with you. I'm anticipating this one to be a lot like that first one, yes. the Captain Crunch one. Again, with kind of the style of how it was cooked, just like a traditional donut. Again, more bready. Let's give it a shot. I do like that one more than the first one. I got to say... I was thinking that first one would be even better with the toppings of the kind of Captain Crunch or whatever cereals on that other one. But the combo of this one, kind of sweet and salty, and in addition to the breading, I feel like it's kind of a, not as airy of a breading. It's still soft, but it's more like wet in a way, right? Where it's kind of cohesive or adhesive, sticks together better. I think that's a great one. Uh, I want to say it's number two. I want to say Butterfinger probably is better than this one, but this one's better than Captain Crunch, maybe. You? 100%. I'm right on there with the same same thoughts there. The maple somehow goes better with the bread. So mm -hmm. it's the same bread, mm -hmm. different maple. That's what really makes this one. It's got almost like a sweet Hawaiian bread kind of flavor to it too. You know, I can see that being like a, almost like a, what do you call that? Banana cake with Ohana. You know, it kind of has that kind of soft, delicious texture to it, like a bready deliciousness. A little bit. I can see where you're going. The maple does do that a little right. bit. The, right. Yeah, I can see where you're going with it. Absolutely. Not obviously not the same, but I can see how you get there. Right. All right, I think I'm gonna save the two stuffed ones for last. Okay. So we gotta try this juicy looking banana fritter right here. I forgot what they called it, but it looks fantastic. Big pieces because the donut is so big. Huge. So we can save more for next time. We're not eating the entire half, as you can tell this time. Just little pieces. <laughs> but this one, we still got a big piece, even though we just took a little piece. So let's give it a shot. Not bad, not bad. I would say I like the consistency more than those other traditional donut ones. But I still think the bacon maple in terms of a flavor kind of trumps this one for me. I, maybe there's a peanut butter and a chocolate on there, which is a good combo for me, but it's not as blow me away in terms of those toppings as that bacon maple one. Maybe if they made a bacon maple banana fritter like this, that would be a blowout for me because I love the kind of texture and that flavor of the banana fritter. The toppings, not so much on this one for me. What do you think? Fully agree. And you know what would make it even better than that? Stuff this one. It's big enough you can stuff it with something, this fritter, with something else. I know it's not like the standard fritter to stuff it with something, but like banana, like banana flavor or banana flavored cream would mm. be perfect. Or pieces of banana. Ah, uh, but yes, yeah. yes. Banana pieces all the way to banana pudding or cream would all be great. Next up, Mike. Next up, let's save that voodoo doll for last. Save the voodoo doll for last. I, I'm, all, I'm all about that. I don't, I've had that before. I loved it. Let's try that cream filled. Portland cream. It's going to be a little bit harder to eat just a piece on this one because it is cream filled for me. I've managed to cut off, bite off pieces of the other ones, whereas this one will be a little bit harder because all that jam. So I might just eat the whole piece. But I uh, gotta love cream filled. So let's give it a shot. Mmm. 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 I love that one. I think that's got amazing flavor to it with that cream filled and that chocolate topping. That one's number one for me right now, of course, with the filling. Because I'm, I'm such a filling donut type of person. You know, I love a nicely stuffed donut. I feel like it adds to that flavor so much. And these two, in terms of flavors, again, I feel like maybe that's Boston cream. And the chocolate sauce, so traditional, so delicious for me, one of my favorites. So that one definitely takes the top spot for me so far today. We got to try the voodoo doll. But that one, again, I, I think the stuffed ones are the way to go. Your thoughts? I agree, but I think Butterfinger still might have that special spot for me. I, okay. Not that I, I mean, I love the cream filled and all the filled ones, no doubt about it, but somehow that Butterfinger flavor was just like really good too. So those are competing right now for first in my mind. Okay, voodoo doll time. Let's see if that's still the number one. Here it is. Enjoy. What did I say? Mm. Oh my gosh. That is a tough one to beat. I'm telling you, Voodoo Doll with that raspberry jam. I've always loved like a raspberry jelly donut and they do it amazingly well with that chocolate sauce on the top on this one. I just had that pretzel piece too, so a little bit of pretzel in there. And the design, of course, I think it's really smart to take that, maybe a lot of people's favorite, a lot of people's classic of a raspberry jam filled and add a couple of pieces to it and make it kind of their staple, that Voodoo Doll. I'm pretty confident that this one takes the number one spot for me. I did like that Boston cream quite a bit, so I feel like that's my second runner and it's not even that far off for me, amazingly good. But both of those two, man, you gotta get the stuff ones. Gotta get jam filled, cream filled, some kind of filled. Mike, your thoughts? I'm right there with you. Love Voodoo Doll, my favorite. I'm gonna put that one on top. Then I'm gonna put Butterfinger, then Boston cream, banana fritter, maple bacon, and then on the bottom, Cap'n Crunch. That's my order. Okay, there you go. And for me, I wanna say it's the Voodoo Doll, the Boston cream or the Portland cream is what they're calling it. Probably the bacon maple and then mm, the apple fritter, banana fritter or the Butterfinger followed by the Captain Crunch. I think that's the order right there is banana fritter above 
the Butterfinger, but they're both good. They all have their own unique thing going for them. I think the jelly or the something filled is definitely something to keep in mind if you like that sort of donut. So overall, Voodoo Donuts is a winner, definite winner, in terms of a donut venue. Michael, do you agree? Is this a place you'd look for to get donuts from? Yes, I would. Yes, I would, absolutely. And I'm looking forward to trying a lot more flavors in the future. As am I. Really glad we had the chance to try it here today. If I wanted to rate Voodoo Donuts overall as a donut venue, I want to say like maybe eight and a half. I put it somewhere around there. What do you think? I put it right around eight, eight and a half. I put it up there for sure. All right, so definitely worth checking out. If you're a donut connoisseur, you've never been to a Voodoo Donuts, check out Voodoo Donuts at Universal City Walk. Fantastic stuff. And looking forward to sharing more with you in the future. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with us here today. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell to stay informed of future foodie and fun adventures. And until next time, play on.